Now to the effort to learn from the deadly school shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High in Parkland and the first public safety meeting examining what happened in the school and what factored into how the response played out. Three parents who lost children in the shooting are part of that panel. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live tonight at the school in Parkland with a look at what they are examining. Joan. Well, this panel was appointed by the governor, State House Speaker, and the Senate President. It is a very raw discussion of everything that happened, everything that went on in this school on February 14th. And the goal is to try to make sure it never happens again. It is necessary to learn the truth and let the cards fall where they may. With that, the monumental task of unraveling the Stoneman Douglas mass shooting February 14th is underway. A 16 member panel, including law enforcement, educators, and three fathers whose daughters were murdered, are investigating what went wrong before, during, and after the massacre. And I want all the people in Broward to know that I'm, I'm not going to sleep, I'm, I don't rest until we're, we're going to get to the bottom of it and who's responsible. Too. The Broward Sheriff's Office revealed out of 49 calls from the home of accused shooter Nicholas Cruz, 18 involved Cruz, and that mental health professionals deemed he was not a threat. This guy he got out of an Uber, he walked across the parking lot, and he walked in a door. Those doors were unlocked. There's a reason why he picked building, building 12, in my view, from seeing it now and hearing this many times. Is because it was a fishbowl. Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Galtieri, who is leading the panel, said everything is on the table. Cruz's history, problems with communications, and the design of the school. The only way you could lock the classroom doors is from the outside. You couldn't lock the classroom doors from the inside. The sheriff's office showed a graphic animation representing what happened when the confessed shooter entered the building. The black dot represents crews moving from floor to floor, shooting and killing in the hallways and classrooms. Late in the day, paddle members traveled to the school to examine the building where it all happened from the outside. My hope is listening here today and hearing of all the failures that were clear that immediately the school district and the sheriff's office fixes them tomorrow. And what he's talking about there are radio communications. He feels that could be fixed right now as well as problems in the school, like being able to lock the door from the inside. We'll have much more on the panel discussion at 6, and they have until January to present their findings. In Parkland, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.